then uh, we will have a second project we're able to move forward on. And that, that will, we'll, we'll know that certainly before the end of the... Hey everyone, welcome to Battery Commodity. Today talking lithium out of Argentina with David. David, welcome to our show. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, and David, my first question. Argentina, you've just closed your Yergo project. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Why Argentina? Why now? When everyone seems to be parking their van in the James Bay area in Canada right now. Well, it's a good question. Our focus is definitely in Argentina. We have been in Argentina for some time. We were... Um, fortunate to be able to reactivate a, a project that we had an interest in there. We now own 100% of it in, in Catamarca province. We've done work on that and we're heading towards a drill program. But the, the, the reason for being in Argentina is because that's where lithium is. In the northern parts of, um, of Argentina provinces in particular, there are some very, very big players there. I would say probably a lot more bigger players there than there are in, in Canada and, and in the James Bay area. One of the topics, of course, in Argentina is uh, it's lithium brine, a certain way of processing. We've got some other videos uh, on the details if uh, you want to check that out. There's a lot going on in the DLE space, so direct lithium extraction right now. Um, I've just heard from Ecosolve out of Australia that they're making great progress uh, with their lithium carbonate process. So is that something that will also have a positive impact on the commercial outcome, commercial value of projects in Argentina going forward? I would say yes, for sure. There are some big projects that are moving ahead with the traditional evaporation ponds. Um, the reason there are so many big players out there is because there is, there is some very good high-grade lithium brine um, projects uh, being and continuing to be discovered and developed. The DLE technology, I think, is definitely the way of the future, much smaller footprint. Commercialization has been a, a, a challenge to date, but um, as you say, and there are other technologies, other DLE technologies that are, have made some very good progress in the last couple of years, um, and certainly in the last few months even, which is going to be a huge benefit to us coming along um, we're, we're not having to create a new path by any means. I think it's, it's good coming along in the timing that we have to be able to take advantage of. Uh, and we're not married to any particular technology at this point, but we'll have a bit of a um, choosing of the, you know, the, the best technologies at, at the right time. All right, David. And I would love to dive a bit deeper into the Yergo property because it is supposedly drill ready. Perhaps you can explain what it actually means. Yes, we have over the last few years, we've done surface sampling. Uh, we've had uh, at least two programs of surface sampling. We've got very good high grades at surface, almost 400 milligrams per liter. Um, we've also done a geophysical program on a, a good part of the salar. We know that the, where the aquifers are. And b basically we've done everything uh, up to date other than drill. We are we have submitted a drill permit. We submitted a drill permit uh, a little over a, a year ago. We had then some, some difficulties, legal um, struggles, I, I would say, with our underlying claim owner. Hence, we bought them out, so we no longer have that. We are reactivating the application for the permit, and I expect that we'll have that and be drilling prior to the end of this year. All right, that is really interesting. And perhaps it's also a good time to give a quick overview of the properties that the company actually has access to, because Yurko doesn't seem to be the only one that you guys have. Yes, just sticking with our focus in Argentina for the moment, the, the Jurgo project, which is very close to neo, what was Neolithium, it's now um, being operated and brought into production by Zijing Mining out of China. We're nine kilometers from that project. The, it's about a 3,000 hectare size. Uh, and as I was just saying, we're, we're drill ready. We will be drilling that very shortly. We have a second project that um, is not necessarily under our control yet. We have put a proposal in to partner with the government of Salta, so just a little bit farther north, in a salar called Era Zero. Uh, there are a number of big players within that salar. Uh, this project is about 9,000 hectares in size. It is an older salar, so the, the grades are not as great at surface, but it, it has been shown to be very deep. And we have done surface sampling. We've also done, we've taken it to a similar stage uh, under a contract with the, with the government of Salta. 
a uh, similar stage to Jurgo. So we've done surface sampling, we've done geophysics, we know that there are depths of at least a thousand meters. Um, there are some other explorers, developers in the area that have proven there's very good grade at depth and uh, I think we're in the right camp here subject to uh, being able to a proposal accepted and a successful proposal with the government then uh, we will have a second project we're able to move forward on and that that will we will we'll know that certainly before the end of the the end of the year here too regarding brine versus hard rock so we of course know that brine on in general is more homogeneous compared to hard rock which is more heterogeneous does it also mean that when you start drilling these uh, these properties that you will have to do less drill holes because it is more more similar across the entire range of lithium, or is that not the case? That has generally been the case. It's a little bit more expensive to drill a hole, per se, but in the brines. But generally what we've seen and the reason we are there and working is that the bang for your buck is, is much quicker. The return can be much quicker. Um, the ability to outline a resource requires certainly, you know, it's a little bit more like an oil and gas kind of a play drilling into an aquifer. So in that respect, the, the dollars required to outline a resource are generally much less than uh, in the hard rock. And, and so we do have some hard rock projects in Canada, um, they're early stage, and, but really our feeling is that in, in the near term we can create much more value for our shareholders by focusing on the brines in Argentina. Yeah, and talking about value for shareholders, uh, we've heard the news today about uh, Ford putting the EV battery in North America on hold. So uh, safe jurisdiction, Biden Inflation Act is one thing, but the economics in the global market are another thing where reality kicks in so that company will, companies will be looking to source from supply that provides the best competitive advantage in the market. That's where Argentina does come into play. Absolutely, I think Argentina is a fantastic place to be. It is. It has become very expensive um, because there is such a demand, and there's been some very good developments. And it's a little bit more the playground of the rich and famous now, in in terms of uh, biggest battery producers in the world, Gang Fang, uh, Rio Tinto, biggest mining company in the world, America, uh, Lithium Americas. Korea is there, uh, POSCO uh, is spending several billion dollars on developing projects, so they're all there for a reason and there's no question that the, the government policies around the world in pushing EVs are going to require, whether Ford moves ahead with a battery plant or not, there, are, there is going to be a demand for battery uh, and the components that comprise and that make up those batteries lithium being a key component for sure. So there is a, there is a real shortage um, in the world. I, I think that from an overall perspective, we are in the right place. It's going to continue for a long period of time. And it's not easy to find lithium uh, at all. It is expensive. It is capital intensive. But without it, you don't have a battery plant.